Welcome everyone into Q's TV. Brian Higgins along. We're talking some women's hoops here in the middle of July because we got the new assistant coach with us and Delisha Milton Jones. And welcome here. Welcome to the Q's. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. All right. So you come in with a, a wonderful resume. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. But you were out there on the West Coast at Pepperdine, a very successful season last year as a head coach. What made you decide that this was the place for you? Well, when Coach Q came to the table with the offer, it was one that I had to ponder over for a while and we explored a lot of different things and in the end, it was the best situation for me as a coach, as a young coach in the game, mm -hmm. coming into an environment where this, this program is successful, mm -hmm. and he is a seasoned vet. So it's an opportunity for me to learn a lot in a short period of time. And I'm excited about that, excited about being able to work with a different level of talent, to recruit on a different level and pit myself against others in the ACC or the SEC mm -hmm. who are all vying for a top talent. Well, you played in the SEC. Now you coach in the ACC. What, what's it like for you to be back, I guess, at that top, top level of college basketball? I love it. I love it simply because the level of competitiveness that permeates through all of the coaches when you see them on the recruiting road mm -hmm. or just off of the pure fact that everyone in the ACC knows that this is a prominent league and uh, whoever can come out the winner, mm -hmm. you have done something spectacular. All right. Well, that's not why you wanted to be here. Here's why Q wanted her here. How about this resume? National Player of the Year in college, <laughs> 1997. 17 years in the WNBA, yes. one seven. That's almost all the years they've had uh, up to this point. And two Olympic gold medals. That's yes. Pretty darn good here, right? Yeah, it's, it's pretty impressive. I, uh -huh. I have to say that, that my body of work is something that I'm very proud of. Mm -hmm. Now I'm in a position where I can give back to the game mm -hmm. because it's given a lot to me. So being in a position that Q has me in here at Syracuse is one where I want to be able to pour into the girls in every way possible. That's a pretty good thing you can tell to the current players, to recruits, to whomever the experience is you have how much does that all build in when, when you're a professional basketball player for as long as you were that, that's got to give you invaluable experience it definitely does being able to have conversations on a deeper level nothing superficial anymore mm -hmm. now when you come and we're going after kids that want to be pros that want to be future olympians that mm -hmm. want to have a professional career internationally now i can come to them and say okay not only was i there but i conquered and i can show you you know, and we can groom you on a daily basis. So with the knowledge and the experience that Coach Quentin has and with the knowledge and experience and um, energy that I have, mm -hmm. you know, I think that it is a recipe for success for any player that is considering us and any player that is here under Coach Quentin's realm. Two golds for you, as we said. What was that, 2000 and was that Sydney? And then uh, 2008, 2008 in Beijing. Mm -hmm. well, what are those experiences like? To win, obviously, but... To wear the, the red, white, and blue, the USA jersey, the whole thing, the opening ceremonies, everything that goes into it. Let me tell you, that moment in itself, although I've had that opportunity several times, mm -hmm. is different. And it's monumental. And it shows that not only did this player win this medal in this moment, but the amount of time that it takes to achieve a goal like that. Mm -hmm. That's four years in the making. Four years in the making for a two-week tournament mm -hmm. who's, that's going to decide who's the best in the world. So it allows you to train like you're the best. It allows you to make sacrifices within your life to set you up to be successful for that moment. And once you get on that podium and you bow your head and you receive your lay, you know, your roses, and you receive your medal and you hear the Olympic, our, our country song being mm -hmm. played, chills. Simply chills, and, and it's a moment where you can relish the fact that job you've done a job that was done well. Heck, we know this. Just to make the U.S. <laughs> women's basketball team, that is an impressive accomplishment uh, just in itself, as obviously they've been the best team uh, year in and year out. As, uh, we're here with Delisha Milton-Jones, the new assistant for women's basketball, and you're in the mix now. Workout's underway. You're getting to work with the young ladies here a little bit. What have you seen so far? What's it been like to actually see them out on the court a little bit? It's a lot of talent in the gym, and I'm able to just sit back and watch and just be a dry sponge and soak up everything that is going on within this environment. Mm -hmm. I watch the girls. I watch Coach Q, and I'm trying to figure out where will I fit in best. Mm -hmm. And I think now is a moment for me to, to really be a student of the game and a student of this situation that I'm in and really figure out how I need to maneuver within it. But under Coach Q's leadership, 
I know that I'm not going to have any problems. And unfortunately, one player you don't get to coach this summer is uh, Tiana. We know Tiana Mungakahi was uh, shockingly diagnosed with breast cancer about a month ago. It was right after you got hired, mm -hmm. actually. But what's your interaction been with her, and uh, what's it like to watch her, her fight right now? Tiana is such a sweet young girl, mm -hmm. and for her to have to go through this battle that she's going through right now, I know that she's equipped for the fight. And she's tough, she's tenacious, and if her resolve matches her play on the court, she's going to be just fine. And she has a community that's supporting her. She has a program that's supporting her. And she definitely has a coach that supports her. Well, we're certainly wishing uh, Tiana the best. Wishing you the best as well, Delisha. Welcome again to Syracuse, and I look forward to having you around. Thank you. Let's go Orange.